As some major events like EAA have returned this summer, it started to feel more like normal. It really did, but now one big event has been called off at a time when COVID-19 cases are increasing. With more than 1,000 new cases in the latest update from the state, Wisconsin's seven-day average per day is now more than 630. That's more than four times what it was just two weeks ago. And the Oneida Nation has said those numbers are part of the reason why the August powwow has been canceled. That marks two years in a row when the virus has put a halt to one of the largest gatherings of the year for the Oneida Nation. Tonight, NBC 26's Eric Crest caught up with organizers to hear about that tough decision. The Oneida powwow draws an annual crowd of nearly 10,000 people and brings in guests from near and far. We have dancers gather from around the, the entire United States, um, and it's also a time for our people to come home. Tanya Webster, chairperson of the Oneida powwow, says the event is a time for nations to come together. And after COVID abruptly canceled 2020's event, many were excited to unite once again this August. Well, we honestly thought it was going to happen this year. The numbers were going down. The COVID numbers were going down. You know, people were getting vaccinated and it was on the right, it was going in the right direction. But just in the last couple of weeks, um, it's turned around. The Oneida Nation estimates that nearly 50% of its eligible residents are currently vaccinated against the virus. But with the Delta variant emerging across the nation, healthcare leaders had to make an unpopular decision and recommend canceling the powwow. To not have any way of knowing what the vaccine status of some of those individuals are, the potential exposure for our community members just puts that level of risk too high. Debbie Danforth, Oneida's Director of Comprehensive Health says, right now there are too many positive cases of COVID in the community and too few people vaccinated to go forth with the powwow in good conscience. Well, our community has a lot of high risk individuals in the community and we have, you know, a lot of health disparities, much, much greater than some of the surrounding communities. No question it was a tough decision to cancel Oneida Nation's largest gathering of the year, but it's also one that reinforces a message tribal leaders have been pushing for months. The best thing we can do is vaccinate. The best thing we can do is encourage if you haven't been vaccinated, Please encourage your family members, your friends, your neighbors, get that vaccination. Um, that's the best measure we can take. Please get vaccinated so that we can have a powwow, a normal powwow in you know the, the near future. In the United Nation, Eric Crest, NBC 26.